This is the sound of safety being checked. Sure, the bus is working. Alexander Sagrista and other inspectors go from bus to bus statewide with checklists of 180 safety issues. That they have to fix if there's broken shocks. In here, seatbelt cutter. You have to cut them right away. That's where they keep here. One violation out of the 180 possible will sideline a bus until the fix is made. This is very personal to every one of us. Overturned school buses in New Jersey on the turnpike in Cherry Hill June 29th and then on the turnpike near East Brunswick August 11th. No one was killed in those. But in Mount Olive May 17th, a student and a teacher died. The 77-year-old bus driver is charged with vehicular homicide. Sue Fulton is the head of the state's Motor Vehicle Commission. Are we looking at this extra hard? We absolutely are. A new law means these three-point seat belts with across-the-shoulder protection must be phased in. They are mandatory on new buses in New Jersey. That change for new school buses is one thing, but what about the older ones? We asked the question, why not retrofit those so they also have three-point seat belts? It's actually extremely difficult to properly retrofit a bus so it remains safe. They pretty much have to rip out the inside of the bus and rebuild it. Fulton says one third of New Jersey school buses have the three point belts, a number that will grow over coming years as districts are urged to buy new buses instead of trying to add the belts to old ones. In Orange, New Jersey, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.